narrow row corn. Big question everywhere I go. Our data across all of the United States and parts of Canada shows that we have about a 2% advantage in 20 inch rows over 30 inch rows overall. That again, that's going from Texas to up here. As we dive down and look at that by states and by regions, you'll see as you move south here in Nebraska, Illinois, Ohio, Michigan, a little questionable whether or not that's a consistent advantage. But as we move north here to Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, there's no question in my mind. The narrower the row system, the more yield you're going to get out of your fields. When we put the seed in the ground, here's where the rubber meets the road. We have to plant that corn at a minimum of an inch and a half deep. And it needs to be consistently placed at that depth. When we see corn planted shallower than that, we can run into a lot of trouble with root system development, and here's why. This is called the crown root system or nodal root system. This set of roots will replace these in functionality when the plant's about three weeks old. This system has to be up and going at that time. This root system will always develop at about three quarters of an inch below the soil surface. As light penetrates into that soil, that root system will develop there at three quarters of an inch below the surface. And if you place your seed shallower than that, and you get into dry conditions, those roots won't grow. That's gonna hinder yield. So seed depth is really, really important. Keep it at least an inch and a half. If we get plants coming up one day later, not too bad, but we start getting plants coming up two days later compared to its neighbors, they're not gonna put on an acceptable ear for us come harvest time. This is what we want. We want that extremely uniform germination and emergence. This is one of the most critical parts of the season, getting this early stand uniform.